babe, I'm an ambitious girl. You're just small time. Liberty City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarters databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Come on! Senor Dickhead! It's no problem to kill you. You're gonna be sorry. Aye, aye, get lost. place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. from the ground up. At Eris, we make high quality footwear. In fact, you can find Eris running shoes in over 140 countries around. This is the place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. to petsovernight.com. We've got exotic pets galore, including tigers, cobras.
Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. taking calls in a little bit. I think we all went through a ninja period. You know, I had the Chinese okay, stars and the nunchucks. This is not a period, lad, though. This is a way of life. Thanks to a strict vegan diet, I had the power of nine men. After morning meditation and a three-bean salad, I could chop a bus in half. Sometimes, I even pray. I am happy. The scrawny, pasty dude. It says on the inside cover of your book that you still live in your parents' basement. Okay, it, it, it's not a basement. I prefer a center for spiritual enlightenment. In chapter 17 of my book, no. I know you read, I address the dangers of cynicism. Those mind is like a closed fist, and karate means open hand. But it might as well mean open mind. If you like weak rap. said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. There's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guy's been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Harbor. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult. your prejudice. You see, I once thought hey, like you before my master and took me under his wing and taught me the joy of joy and origami. Concentration begins in the mind and spreads to all the extremities of the body. The language is not the tongue, the language is the the Just put the thing. phone book and have on my bare tongue. Fat and I can easily chop this desk in two half desks. This desk is made of two-inch thick composite wood pulping as a mahogany veneer finish. It has three drawers, and knowing this station, it costs $100. In his own words, Reed Tucker is about to smash it into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, I already visualized the desk in two half desks, and now I shall make it so. Dragon stance. 
Listen, Karate Kid, the desk is still in one piece. Thanks for coming on the show. Okay, Lando, Maki will get you nowhere. I think they hit you now. Oh, I bruised. Short guys, killer bees, the Magna Car. I on a combo. What am I gonna do? Hey, hey, I gotta talk to you. All right, Mick, I'll talk to you later. How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo Turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. This, and they say aluminium instead of aluminum. I mean, what's up with that? They all think they sound so smart with a little funny accent. I mean, I got something for them. Speak English, you limey moron. Well, you know, I think they were speaking English before we were. Uh, the people over here were speaking Shoshone and Cherokee. Man, Cherokee Sparky. You want to make your level Luigi now, huh? It's about time you got to Soccer, it's a boring game, man. I'll tell you what soccer is. Soccer's for little girls, man. Football, now that's American sport. It, it teaches you good, wholesome American values, man, like like stealing other people's land by force and, and wearing tight pants while you do it. What are you talking about? I'm talking about being a man, lad. Something you wouldn't know anything about from the sound thing. I'll tell you, I bet you play wimpy stuff like, like touch football and, and, and basketball. The ball, and I'm seven foot three. I'm telling you, man, I only play men's sports, like football. Oh. It's hopscotch. Hopscotch? That's a girl's game. Man, that ain't a girl's game, man. Not rugby hopscotch. Man, get me in a scrum and I'll take you. I'll take anybody down. I'm the hopscotch master. I got fly skills hopscotch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I kind of see your point, but, you know, you'd be a little cranky, too, if your empire had fallen apart over the last hundred years. And speaking of commerce, it's time for some commerce here. Let's go to commercials. We'll be back after this. Has your marriage gone... I'll be with you in a minute, Spark Plug. Hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? Just 
by logging on to PetsOvernight.com. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. And who says that e-commerce isn't a brilliant idea? All right, speaking of brilliant, you're listening. Australian American War. I didn't get a hero's welcome. I didn't get a
American war was the biggest war since the big one. I tell you, I didn't see two tours and take boomerang shrapnel in my head so I could come back here and have a bunch of hippies deny history. Those Aussies are ruthless. They even wired kangaroos with explosives. Come hopping into camp, knock out ten guys. Well, thanks for the history lesson. All right, let's go over here. Hello, Good caller. Call. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah? Is that loud? Oh. Yes, it is. Who's this? My name ain't important. Oh. That's real unimportant. Okay. Uh, no, not really. I mean, this is a radio. Run away, yo. Bang, yo, bang. You're about to get pumped.